Imagine a world where Ferrari, the legendary team synonymous with Formula One glory, hasn't tasted championship victory since 2008. For a team of this stature, that's an eternity. From the heartbreaking near misses in the Alonso era to the frustrations of the Sebastian Vettel regime, the Ferrari faithful have endured plenty of tears. When the ground effect era dawned, many believed the curse would finally lift. But here we are again, Ferrari lagging behind the competition. Will this cycle ever end? Fast forward to the 2024 Formula One season and the team started its 2024 campaign, Strong picking up two victories and several podiums, and at times was the reigning world champion's closest challenger. Alas, the team lost its lead firstly to a fast-developing McLaren, and now even Mercedes. Ferrari's challenges persist, although the team scored a podium with Carlos Sainz at the Austrian Grand Prix, but it was overshadowed by Charles Leclerc's disappointing weekend. The SF24 car, once a beacon of promise, is now riddled with aerodynamic issues and bouncing, making it difficult to handle and prone to oversteering and instability. How did Ferrari end up here again? Since introducing updates in Barcelona, Ferrari's SF24 has struggled with aerodynamic balance, leading to the dreaded porpoising. This has forced the team to raise the car, negating the benefits of the updates. As a result, Ferrari's performance has suffered, and the team has fallen behind in the pecking order. At Silverstone, Ferrari aims to optimise the mechanical setup, hoping the smoother surface will alleviate the bouncing issues. Will they find the right balance? At the helm of this stormy ship is Frederic Vasseur. He's been rallying the Maranello team, acknowledging the problems while focusing on the positives. Murmurings have already started in the Italian media against Vasseur to start finding performance, or he'll be shown the door. However, the Ferrari boss this time has the backing of John Elkan who vowed support for the Frenchman, saying him and the whole Ferrari leadership has trust in Fred and his leadership. The team is also hoping to bolster its ranks and technical leadership with several key hires set to join the team and the lingering questions surrounding the Adrian Newey who is now set to be a close contender for a role at the Aston Martin team. Despite the challenges, and after a tough weekend in Austria, Vasseur remains optimistic. He described the Austrian Grand Prix as a mix of positives and challenges. Setup problems persisted throughout the weekend, grip issues were evident, and aerodynamic load discrepancies continued to plague the SF24. Despite these hurdles, Vasseur is confident in Ferrari's development path, looking forward to improvements at Silverstone. Will the upcoming practice sessions be the turning point Ferrari desperately needs? Ferrari kicked off the year as the second fastest team, trailing only Red Bull. They fiercely battled with McLaren and Red Bull in Miami and Imola, even stealing the spotlight in Monte Carlo with Charles Leclerc. But those glory days feel like a distant memory now. Ferrari's recent performances in Canada and Spain have been disastrous. The team was expected to bounce back in Austria but continued to struggle, with the SF24 being outpaced and outclassed even by a resurgent Mercedes. The SF24 has lost the balance it showcased earlier in the year. Both Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz have identified different issues plaguing the car. Leclerc pointed to the overall grip, stating it's the main limitation compared to Red Bull and McLaren. Sainz, on the other hand, highlighted bouncing as a significant problem in high-speed corners. The drivers have differing opinions on whether the issues are linked to recent updates. Can Ferrari salvage their 2024 campaign, or is it already too late? The team is now on the brink of losing its second-place spot in the championship and could potentially end up fourth in the constructors' standings. Ferrari's journey in the 2024 season has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. Their ability to bounce back depends on how effectively they can address the aerodynamic and setup issues plaguing the SF24. Can they turn their fortunes around, or will another year be wasted on the sidelines? Stay tuned to find out.